Good morning, guys. Um, I'm just woken up and I'm getting ready to go to Sephora for their opening at Parramatta. And so I'm um, just getting ready for that. I'm starting out with my Maybelline um, Pore Minimizing Primer. I'll leave the link and the exact name down below, so be sure to check that out. Um, I'm just using my fingers to apply that and then going straight in with my foundation. And I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. Again, the shade will be listed down below, so be sure to check that out. Um, I'm just using a flat top kabuki brush to blend that out first, um, sort of disperse the color everywhere on my face, and then I am going to push the product in um, with my sponge, with a damp beauty sponge. Um, but I'm making sure that I don't forget my neck and decolletage area, just making sure coverage is even and my skin look, my skin and neck match. So um, just, you know, dabbing all of, locking all of that in place by pushing it in, uh, making it one with the skin. And then for concealers today, I'm using two. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me just under my eyes. And then for highlighting, I'm using my Maybelline Master Conceal, which I'm really starting to get a hang of and really liking um, the color and coverage and everything. Um, so I'm also covering a few spots, blemishes on my face. Um, and I'm also going to use the sponge to blend it out, make that really ugly face. Um, <laughs> um, but I've also, um, I used the Master Conceal to highlight as well, all the high points. So um, that was the only shade I used. The Fit Me uh, concealer was just for my under eyes. Um, and then I mixed in the other one as well. So um, after this, I'm just going to set everything in place, set all the concealed areas with the Face of Australia Loose Setting Powder. And I am I don't usually bake, but for this instance I am I did decide to bake. Um it was gonna be a really long day. This is like around seven in the morning that I was filming. So um I wanted everything to stay in place and not crease and everything like that. And I do have under eye creases, so I'm just first setting the concealer in place and then I'm just going to layer um the powder on top to break uh, to bake not break, bake, um, and I'm just using like a, like a tapered brush for this, um, and also clearing, uh, clearing, also wiping on the sides just to get that natural contour kind of look, um, and then for my eye primer, I'm using my trusty old MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot, um, just using my fingers to apply that today, and then to set that in place, I'm using my um, Chloe Morello's collab with Ciate, the pretty fun fearless palette, and I'm using the shade My Tribe in that. Um, and I'm just using like a big fluffy brush to set that in place. And then I absolutely lied when I said it was goodbye to the Naked palette because hello, we're back using it again in the very next video that I'm posting. Um, there was a video in between which I didn't edit. I wanted to get this up. Um, but I'm starting out with the Dark Horse shade. Um, I really, really like that shadow. So apply that all over and I'm going in with, I believe, I believe it's the shadow buck and I'm just using that to help me blend all the edges out and I'm using circular, circular motions and then windshield wiper motions um, just to blend everything out and there, make sure that there are no harsh edges anywhere um, in the craze area. I just wanted like a very simple look. It's so early, I was so sleepy, I had barely slept the night before. So I just wanted something um, really quick and easy to work with. Um, here I'm going in with the shadow Naked, I believe. If it's wrong, then I'll just leave that somewhere on the screen with the exact shade name. And I'm gonna do all of these steps off camera. So I'm using um, the L'Oreal Pomade for my brows and then um, the Lash Sensational Mascara for um, my lashes and the Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner um, Liquid Eyeliner Pen. Um, and then for my brow bone highlight, I use the color Virgin. Um, and then now I'm just going to wipe off all the big. Um, I swear to God, wearing a black t-shirt was such a bad idea because it was covered in powder. It was absolutely covered in powder. Um, but it did stay on really well the whole day um, and you'll see that because I will have a 
I'll be coming back to show you my haul. Um, <laughs> so you'll see how it held up at around a 12 hour mark. Um, anyways, I'm going in with my Hoola bronzer and I'm using an angled brush to just bronze up my skin, get some color back in and get some life going on, you know? Um, so, you know, just the usual, the three and E, um, step that was really old school. Um, so yeah, and making sure that my double chin is somewhat covered. Um, there's no way I can hide it, but I'm trying. Um, I'm using the NYX blush. I will leave the shad shade, uh, I will leave the name down below because I have no idea, um, but I think it was cinnamon, but I will confirm and leave it down below, so be sure to check that out, guys. Um, I'm just using my um, good old e.l.f. stippling brush, and then I'm using my Becca highlighter in opal with a fan brush. I absolutely love this highlighter. I'm just applying on the usual spots, so cheekbones, um, I take it a little bit above my eyebrows, and then I also like to highlight my temples just to kind of give that that really nice glow when you're, you know, when your face is turning and stuff. Um, it looks beautiful. Um, and then also the tip of my nose along with the bridge of my nose. Um, Cupid's bow, chin, you know, just the usual spot, um, usual spots. Um, and then I'm going in with my lip liner. This is Giordana and I believe it's mahogany. Um, I love how deep this, deep this, um, this liner is. I absolutely love it. And for my... Lipstick, I use the NYX Lip Lingerie Lipstick, and again, name will be down below. I'm sorry I keep saying that, um, but I I was half asleep when I was filming this. After I filmed this, I was like, okay, now I feel awake. Um, <laughs> I was so tired, literally, by the end of the night. Um, but yeah, I think that marks the end of this of this um makeup look but then i come back and share with you guys all the goodies that i got so have fun enjoy the rest of the video and we're gonna end the voiceover right here all right guys we are back um i did go to sephora earlier this morning um, we left the house at about 8. It was going to open at 8, but um, they opened a little late. Um, I think they opened at 10 o'clock, but then there was everyone who were queuing up and they were in line and stuff like that. So we got there pretty late um, and I was like, you know what, um, as long as I get there today, I'm great, I'm golden. <laughs> um, so please excuse my makeup. It is, I got ready, I think I started getting ready at like quarter to 7, 7 in the morning. Um, and we're almost at the 12 hour mark, so it is about 6.25 right now, and I am pooped. Um, one, lack of sleep, two, lack of caffeine. We're on Herbalife diet at the moment, so, um, no coffee and stuff like that, so it's really, uh, it's draining me. <laughs> um, so excuse my makeup, and I'm not wearing any lip colors because I picked up a few things which I wanted to try on as well, so, um, that's the gist of it. So, without further ado, let's just... I didn't get a lot of things, I just got a really small bag. So the first thing I got was the Tarte High Performance Naturals. Um, it's the two mini lipsticks. Um, and the reason why I pulled this one out, I think I'm going also according to size. Um, this is probably the smallest thing that I bought. I only bought like two or three things. So plus I want to wear a lip color because, you know, my lips are kind of bare. Oh, these are so cute. Oh my god, these are so cute. So that's just how big they are. That is crazy. So these are the two mini lipsticks and they are in the shade, this is Decree and this one is Rump, ooh, this one is Rump Punch. I love the packaging. It's very like plasticky, it's not very luxe at all. Um, oh, this is such a cute color. This is Rump Plum. Oh, I love it. Oh, I like that. So that's, that's really pretty. It reminds me of Velvet Teddy from MAC and it reminds me of um, L'Oreal. Here it is. This is Ferris New. Let's compare. They're very close. So um, this one here is Ferris New and then that's the Rum, rum Punch. I've been saying it wrong. My bad. That's Rum Punch. 
So very similar to that one, but I feel like this one's way too pale on me, but that one might be a really good color. And this one's Decorate. This one's really bright. Oh yeah. Oh, I like that. What do I want to go with? No, you know what? I'm going to go with Rome Punch because that, that color just really intrigues me. So nude, I think. Oh, so nude. I really like it. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. I really, really like it. Oh, amazing purchase. Yay. Okay. So that was one. Um, next, I bought the Zoeva Con Contour Spectrum. So this is quite big. Like, it's really big compared to what I was imagining it. Um, I thought it was going to be a really small one. Um, kind of like the size of my Revlon one, but I'll show you the difference. So, there you go. I've been using the Revlon one lately and I'm not very happy with it. Um, I've been showcasing it in like two of my videos and I don't know which, which video is going to go up, but um, that one is very, very chalky, very powdery. Um, it's pigmented, yes, but it is extremely powdery and I hate, like I can deal with fallout, but that is just... Like, it's not fallout, but like I can deal with cake back into the palette, but that is just like next level. So, this is what um, Zoe 1 looks like. It looks really, really promising. And from, yeah, see, this one doesn't have a lot of. Yeah, this one compared to that doesn't have a lot of um, kickback. So, those are the three shades. Really excited to try that. I want to see how much product there is. Okay, so it's 3.5 grams per pan, so into four, and the Revlon one, so the Revlon one is 10 grams for the whole palette, and the Zoeva one would be then 3.5 times four, 14 grams, so um, it's a little bit more obviously. Um, the pan size is quite big, so... But really excited to try this one. I'll definitely use up. Or I don't even. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with the Revlon one. We'll see which one I like better, and then go from there. Um, so the last thing that I bought, like I said, I got only three things. The last thing I got was my soft glam palette. I'm so excited. Um, I was so confused. I don't know if I should get the Norvina one, or um, should I wait for the Sultry palette, or if I should go with the um, Modern Renaissance. And I was like, this is fairly new, um, plus Modern Renaissance, I feel like um, the Too Faced Pe Sweet Peach Palette, um, which is the other one? There are a couple of palettes that combined together I can get Modern Renaissance, um, but I still have my eye on it, so I'm not sure if I'm going to pick it up, but I feel like this is really, really close to that, so I cannot wait to try this out. I am in love already. Like how pretty is that? Oh, it's so cute. I cannot wait to experiment with this. All right, so that's all the things that I bought, and then we have samples to um, that we were given. So um, while I was in the queue, we were handed about I think two samples. One, then one in the store, and then a couple came in my bag um, from checkout. So I think overall we got five. Um, this is the Lanigi Special Care Lip Sleeping Mask. This is what it's look. This is what it looks like. I have lisp lisp today. I can't even say lisp. Wow. Oh, this is such a cute bottle. So that's what it looks like. So this one is 0 0.08 ounces or 2.5 grams. Oh, it smells like strawberries and cream. Oh, so cute. I can't wait to try this. I have, have I heard anyone talk about this? I'm not sure, but I'm so excited to try that. Um, then we got, oh, these are cute, okay. Um, one I'm really excited about, I don't know why, just like, I really, I, I'm so intrigued by it. <laughs> okay, so this is the Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm from IGK. Never heard of this brand. I've never heard anyone talk about it. I'm pretty sure. I, I'm not sure about this one, but this one I'm pretty sure I've never heard anyone talk about it. Um, so this is in hair balm. It's 5ml or 0.17 fluid ounces. Um, 
be so it says be the one they envy this innovative living this innovative leave-in conditioning balm melts into lints and instantly boosts hydration its featherlight formula detangles and smooths hair leaving desirable radiance and workability air dry for a smooth supple texture or blow out for the soft lustrous body you crave works on thick frizzy and curly lints or hair types that are addicted to moisture and softness okay so this is not gonna work for me um, I have really fine thin air and um, I already have an oily scalp so I do not need any more hydration in my hair than necessary so um, I don't know if I'm gonna give this a try or I might just pass it on to my mom because her hair is a little bit on the drier side so uh, I'm, I, yeah, I don't know um, so this is what I find really intriguing right like I mean so you get samples for everything but Beauty Blender, like Beauty Blender has a, has a sample and how amazing, like they've got a little bit of water in here so you can actually wet the sponge and try it out. Like how, where do these people think things? Like I mean, honestly, how amazing is that? Um, and it shows you, so that's, that's the, um, that's the dry version and then once you wet it, it like doubles in size. How freaking cool. I cannot imagine you can get a sample for a sponge, like, and in the shape of a beauty blender. Like, that blows my mind. So then we have two more things, both of which I'm really excited about. Um, we've got this Bite Beauty Matte Cream Lip Crayon. This is in the shade Lychee. Um, and I opened this up because I wanted, I was kind of intrigued. Anything lip? Give it to me right now. I think this might be really similar to the shade that I have on right now. I love the packaging. It's like the... I think it's really similar. It's a little bit on the pinkier side. Yeah, definitely a little bit on the pinkier side. That's Lychee from um, Bite Beauty. It's their matte color. It's a bit more pinky than uh, pinkier than what I'm wearing right now, but I really, really love this shade. And lastly, um, we've got um, this Boschia, I hope I'm saying that right. Um, this is Boschia Matcha Magic Super Antioxidant Mask. And that's what it looks like. And it smells like, oh, it smells so good. I cannot describe it, but it smells really, really good. Um, this one is 13 ml or 0 0.44 fluid ounces. So really, really excited to try this. I was so happy that I went. Um, it was such a good day. It was really early, but it was worth it. Um, and I cannot wait to like dig into these products and give you my take on it. I have a couple of videos in mind that I'm like really looking forward to making. So um, coming soon. And thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I will catch you in the next one. Please do not forget to like this video and um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys very, very soon. Take care. Bye. And with reserve, reserve, reserve retro, retro, reserve retro.